What up guys, Dre. Um, so I wasn't gonna make this video, but um, I decided to make it just to help someone out and inspire some of you guys. Uh, and I'm gonna give you guys a little breakdown of who these two people behind me are right now. This is my homie Mike, who is a really good friend of mine that I trust and is just the best person in the world. Very nice guy. Uh, we've been friends for a while. We go to church all, all together all the time and everything, which we'll tell you the story about that in a second, which leads to this guy who I'll let Mike introduce real quick. So, uh, this is my buddy Shannon. I met Shannon one week ago uh, on Venice Beach. Uh, Shannon's a homeless guy who is doing some incredible um, work because he's got a huge heart. And uh, he's taught me a bunch of things about homelessness and about um, the effects of it. And um, I don't know, man, I, it, it was like, a few days have gone by since I've seen him, and tonight he uh, he called me because I gave him permission to just call me uh, whenever he needed anything, and I'm proud of him because he uh, he got into some trouble, nothing out of the ordinary, you know, with uh, the situation that he's in, and um, and tonight it just happened that Dre and I were together getting ready to go. Basically, I was on my way to church. church. Quick, sorry for interrupting. No, good. I was on my, we go to a Wednesday night to church called City Church. It's my church from Seattle that I normally go to. The pastor comes here every Wednesday. It's a really dope church, by the way. You guys should check it out if you're in Seattle, California. It happens on Wednesdays. But we're headed to church. I'm uh, on my way of texting Mike. I'm on my way to pick him up. I pick up Mike and thinking, okay, we're like a couple blocks from this church. We're going to go to church and it's going to be good and all this stuff. But of course, uh, God has a different plan for all of us and by any means not pushing religion on anyone in this video. Just trying to tell you guys um, how it actually is in my head at the time. And Mike goes, hey, this guy Shin I met just hit me up and needs help. We got to go to the store and get him a couple things because he got a bunch of his stuff stolen uh, last night sleeping on the street. And so I was like, well, how, how much is up? And then when I saw this guy, Shin, really nice guy, by the way, has no shoes, which you guys are about to see. But we, uh, we just got him shoes and all this stuff. And so basically this little video, with despite everything else going on online with all the drama and everything, um, I'm just doing this to uh, kind of put awareness and like, I don't know, maybe inspire some people and at the same time uh, help someone out that is in need right now because uh, Shan has a crazy story and maybe if he's uh, fine with it, he'll tell you guys a little bit about it at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Um, and yeah, and so now we're gonna go do what we have to any, any other words? No, I think that's it. If everybody has an opportunity to help somebody, that's the whole idea here, you know? We live by uh, a message called family, and we just want to say, forget about me, I love you. you yeah, know? by the way guys, this bracelet I've been wearing, family, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention. If you go through my videos for like the last 10 months, you always see this bracelet on my hand. This stands for forget about me, I love you, and it's it's it's, it's like that. Uh, and that's why I've been wearing it. It's this thing that Mike does, it's a really good deed. And uh, you know, I was really inspired by his message the very first time he ever told me about it, and I put this thing on and never took it off. Actually, the dog bit, bit it off at one point, <laughs> but he gave me another bracelet. So anyways, and I wear it because it keeps me humble and just all the drama and everything going on in the world, it just puts sanity in it through like, every time you see it, you get the message and you're just like, you know, that's that's the main focus. It's a good but way yeah, to live. I'm not trying to make this like a really cringy, cheesy video and like make you guys feel bad or whatnot. No, 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 this is just to inspire people and maybe some of you guys have an open heart to help someone. And just, you know, despite everything else going on and everything that happened, all the stuff you guys hear and all everything, uh, you know, just hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, hope you guys enjoy Shannon's story at the end of the video if he uh, helps us do one. So, let's go. So it's really interesting just hearing these people's stories, just where they come from. And I love it, and I get to connect with them, and hopefully just show everyone that there really is no difference, except for that they got in a bad situation.
so we just finished eating. Oh, and the homie Kobe just hey, pulled up. up. Literally flew in from New York just to be in the That's video. Um, how's, how's, your, how's your dinner? Oh, it was absolutely Thank fantastic. you so much, Mike. You're welcome. Thank you Mike. all. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you feel great. good? Great. All right. Time to uh, do whatever. Whatever we do. What are you doing next? We what are gonna go to, uh, to the apartment and um, help Shannon get uh, comfortable and hang out, and get a shower and chill, and uh, see what happens. Freshen up. What's up guys, I'm Shannon, I'm 19 years old and I'm from Chicago. And I left my old life to actually take a journey to just show America what homelessness is really about. Because you pass these people all the time and you just see them on the street and you don't realize that they're the same as you and I. So I left my old life to go around the country journaling, hitchhiking all over just to prove that humans, it doesn't matter if you're at the bottom or the top, we're all really here. And I got into a tough st situation last night and my buddy Mike here came to the rescue. I lost half of my belongings, including my shoes, so I had to walk miles to meet up with Michael. And he helped me out a lot, and I'm very appreciative that I've had this person in my life. My goal is to have a better purpose in life, and I feel like this journey can really help me out with helping society. So my goal is to show, show society a different perspective on life, different perspective on what it means to be equal. So far, I've made some mistakes. I've run into wrong crowds and I've trusted the wrong kind of people and it led me down some wrong paths. And so I have to be mindful in keeping to the right track. Guys, I wear this bracelet F-A-M-I-L-Y family because forget about me, I love you. This is all about making the universe a better place for all of us. And that's part of my journey, is making this a universe and the society just better for everyone to live in. Family. Thank you guys very much for watching until the end of the video. I would really like to thank Dre for helping me out. This is my first video and I'm going to start vlogging about this all over the country to bring this to light to Americans and all over the world one day. So I really appreciate what Dre is doing, what Mike is doing. It's really for a good cause. Thank you guys very much. And thank you guys for watching. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching the end of the video. Honestly did not plan to film today. Um, shout out to Mike and Shen and Kobe for coming out and saying what's up. Uh, but basically, um, yeah, I hope it inspired some of you guys. Thank you all for watching and uh, forget about me, I love you. That's our message, we're all family. Right, also, um, they didn't bring this up, but Mike made a GoFundMe link for the homie, uh, Shannon, to continue his journey and do what his plan is. To If you have any means, by any means you want to help him out, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, the link to that is in the description. It's all for society. I want to start at the bottom and work my way to the top, so. Just help out society and help out your fellow humans. Hey. Awesome. All right, if you guys want to know more about Shannon's story, the GoFundMe has the full story. Even if you don't donate, go down there, just read the full story. This guy has actually a pretty solid story, so go check that out. Thank you.